Hello and welcome to Quectel GSM GPRS Quick Start. Here in Quectel, we have a group of GSM module family from our product portfolio to offer as a solution to our customers on their GSM and GPRS needs. And on this quick start, we will be using the M95. Before we begin, let me give you a quick introduction of the M95. Then, we will show you a short demo of the evaluation kit and the QNavigator software. The M95 has the following merits. It is one of the smallest quad band module. It can work on extreme temperature. It has the lowest current consumption in slow clocking mode. It can support GPRS class 12. And by using 80 commands, it can also be adjusted to class 10 if required on the application being developed. It has global certifications approved for use in many countries of the world. It is embedded with a class AB amplifier. It supports multiple internet protocols. This is the EVB kit also known as evaluation kit and on the evaluation kit is the M95 module on a terminal equipment adapter. The EVB kit has three UART ports the main port, the debug port, and UART3. The main port is used for data transmission and firmware upgrade. The debug port is used to catch logs to check and analyze the error. The UART3 is an extra UART port which can be used to assist the main port for data transmission. And this can be enabled using an AD command. This is the SIM card interface, the audio interface, antenna interface. This is switch 1 for the power supply. And switch 2 can be turned on if you want to enable the charging function. Switch 3 is turned on for a download firmware procedure. K1 is the power key to turn on or turn off the module. K2 is an emergency button to shut down the system. Now let me introduce what the LED status means. L1, when this is lit, it means it is on. L2, this blinks at a frequency according to the various GSM network status. L3 is a light MOS indicator. L4 is the indicator of module's operating status. This is the 5 volt adapter. The USB to UART converter cable, the antenna, the RF cable, some bolts and nuts, and here's the earphone. This is how they are connected to the EVB. First step is to connect the SIM card to the EVB. And then we connect the antenna. Afterwards, we insert the M95 TEA to the evaluation board. Then we connect the power adapter to the evaluation board where the other end would plug in to the outlet. Afterwards, we connect the USB to UART cable, wherein the UART port is connected to the main port and the USB to the computer. 
we turn on switch 1 and turn off switch 2 and switch 3. L1 will be lit. Then you can press and hold K1 for 2 seconds to turn on the module. L4 will be lit and L2 will be flashing. When you want to turn off the system, you can press and hold K1 button for 2 seconds. You can also turn off switch 1 to turn off the power completely. To easily demonstrate the main function of our module for customers, Quicktel has developed a GSM module testing tool called QNavigator. Customers can use this tool conveniently even if they do not know any AD command. The main functions include SMS, voice call, TCP, UDP, PPP, AT command query and testing, and it can also perform AD commands pressure testing at the QCOM test page. The QCOM tool is generally used to send and receive data using the serial port. Let me show you the basics of using the QNavigator. First, let us open the QNavigator software by double clicking on the icon. Then, we choose the COM port on the drop down box. And generally speaking, if the module is properly connected to the computer, the COM port number will appear automatically, and you just have to click OK. Then, the QNavigator's main interface will show up. The next step is to click on Connect to Module. This will check the GSM and GPRS network registration status, so it performs automatic initialization. You can also find the module and SIM card information on this column. If you want to test SMS function, you can just easily click on the SMS button without entering any AD command. This is where you can input the receiver's phone number on this box and the message on this box. Click Send Message and it will inform you if the message is sent successfully. Here on the right side, you will see the status or things that has happened or still happening as a result when a command has been activated. These are the 80 commands the system used, which can also be used on the QCOM testing tool. This letter S means the sender and R means the receiver.